Should I change the backdrop into a different color? Just want to keep this black sleek uh, feel. Episode 4! <laughs> Ow, 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 When I shared this photo on my Instagram story, I told them not to ask me nor to message me because I don't have any first-hand information on this. I just want to share that information with you guys and just message those who are still with the company. But a lot of people are still asking me and messaging me about it. So here's a video about it. And what is it? Hold on. Two weeks ago, I shared this information on my Instagram story. There is an open day interview for cabin crew for AirAsia X that will be held in Malaysia from February 3 to February 7. Disclaimer, I was not paid nor contracted by AirAsia to do this video. I just want to address and share my tips and insights about the interview. Yeah. So, right, before I go into full detail about the interview and the hiring, I just want to I just want to give you a bit of um, insight about AirAsia X and Malaysia AirAsia. AirAsia X flies the long haul flights, which means layovers, the night stops, goes to uh, Sydney, Australia, yeah, Sydney, Australia, <laughs> Korea, Japan, Jeddah, India, China, and usually MAA does the domestic flights and other international flights as well, but for turn around flight. That's an overview of the two which I both worked for, but the interview is for AirAsia X. And what's good about this interview is it's only for foreigners. As long as you're not Malaysian, you're good to go. Filipino, Thai, Indonesian, Iranian, uh, Japanese, Korean, Thai. Sabi ko natin. This is get into the main topic of the video, the heart of this video, and those are the three tips that I can give you guys for this interview in terms of preparing, the actual day itself, and you know. So, um, oh, my brain's not functioning well. I will be speaking with my own experience and I talk to some of the people about the tips and what you guys need to prepare for. Uh, number one, prepare. Prepare. <laughs> Prepare in terms of doing your research about the company. Make sure that you do your own background check on the airline that you're applying for. Make sure you guys know at, at least the tip of the iceberg about the airline's destination, the CEO, when was it established, the mission, vision, the branding of the company, the vision of the company or its uh, family. So when I was preparing for my interview, I, I wanted to be fit I want, and I wanted to really get the job. Gym 24-7 for me and I wanted to lose weight. I wanted to look good and I wanted to dress well. By the way, there there are no dress codes for guys and girls for this interview. Just be yourself. Come in your in your stylish formal wear. Make sure you stand out. Be unique. Be yourself and present yourself well. No age limit as well. As long as you can be physically fit and can perform safety related duties, then why not? Now you need to prepare your document, body photo or your head and shoulder photo. Not the shampoo, but your head on there. Oh, <laughs> and this, they added this requirement this year. I don't know when. Did. During my interview, they did not have this. You need to prepare your T O E I C. Basically, stands for test of English for international communication. Basically, it's an English. Basically, it's an English. It's an English language. <laughs> Basically, it's an English language test just to certify someone that they're proficient in English. For those of you who are asking me if you're in the Philippines, you can Google it or I'll just link it down below. They have an office in Makati City. You guys can just uh, take the test from there. And I double check with them. It's, uh, it's a requirement, so you guys need to bring your TOEIC with you. 
tip number two. So my second tip is to just uh, be at your best at interview day, physically and mentally. All right, you guys are probably wondering. All right, I've I've prepared myself physically, mentally. I did my research, but we need sample questions about the interview. We need sample on questions that they're gonna ask us. But they're gonna ask us about why do I want to be a cabin crew? Can you tell me about yourself? Just Look at it this way. The interview day is just a getting to know you interview. They just want to get to know you, but in a formal set, in a nerve-wrecking setting. I, I know the feeling. It's you guys will have tons of butterflies in your stomachs and uh, relax, chill. Don't think about the questions. Know yourself. Because the only way you can answer any question is to know yourself and to know basic knowledge around you. Questions can be as simple as what is your favorite color to questions about politics in your country. And questions will be coming from different panelists, different executives. So you really can program your mind into sample questions and practice them because once you are in that position in front of the panelists, you can't think straight. All you think about are the answers and the questions that you memorized. Relax. Think of it as if uh, it's a getting to know you part of the date. People are asking you questions, so tell them about yourself. Tell them what you like, what you love, what you do, where you came from, and why did you why did you apply for the job? If you find it fun, then answer that. If you if you want to apply because of the salary, then tell them that. It's better to just be yourself. Air Asia is a company who encourages its employees, its family members to be themselves, to be unique. So they're looking for someone who can carry him or herself well. They're looking for someone who can embody the image and the branding of Air Asia. So be fun, play, be serious, and be passionate with work. Work hard, play harder. Having fun at work. Not too much fun, yeah. Learn a lesson. <laughs> Expect activities, interviews, group activities. My interview process, if you've seen episode one, is completely different from the process now. Just be prepared for anything. Just, just bring yourself there, which uh, leads me to tip number three. Have fun. Enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, because not everyone can be in your shoes. You there standing and planned and decided to go there alone makes you a winner. You've taken a step to your dream job. Just enjoy the moment, cherish it, don't stress yourself too much. Just prepare the necessary things, do your research, and let go. Have fun because tension, tension will take you nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so Good luck. Um, to sum up everything that I've said, if, 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 if I made sense at all, tip number one is to prepare. Prepare physically, mentally, do your research. Prepare the documents. Don't forget the T-O-E-I-C. That's a requirement this year. For girls, no makeup requirement. Just be there, be beautiful. Always remember to smile. That's your greatest asset. There are no dress codes, but please be there in your uh, stylish, formal wear, your business uh, attire. Make sure to stand out, all right? In a good way. Second is to be at your best on the interview day. Expect hard questions, expect easy questions. What's more important is you know yourself well to be able to express it and show it to the panelists. Third, have fun, enjoy. Air Asia is a fun family to be a part of, and there are a lot of opportunity. A, a, a ramp agent, a, a ground staff can be a pilot with a growth and the career opportunity, and um, a foreigner can be an executive, and they just let you who you want to be. It's a fun family to be with. They may be low cost, but the quality of service and their vision, it's more than that, so. Yeah, hope you guys learned something from from everything that I've said. For those who are flying to Malaysia for the interview, good luck. Uh, we'll be praying for you guys. And yeah, I, I, I hope to visit uh, Malaysia soon. Thank you. Again, this is not a sponsored plug by AirAsia, but this is just me supporting and addressing the concern. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smile always. Be happy. Good luck to Thailand. Remember? The biggest asset that you can bring to any interview is your smile.
and confidence. Yeah. And uh, if you guys have any questions, topic suggestions, just put it down in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week for the next episode of the Hashtag Kevin Crew 101.